Okay, the first thing we always do, write your name on one side, your code, flip it over. We are going to print today, so we are going to take an object, we are going to dip it in paint or ink, and we are going to turn it into a type of stamp. So we're going to transfer the ink onto the paper. So the object that we will print with today is bubble wrap. Um, this comes in packaging. It has this awesome texture, all these bubbles. A lot of people like to pop them. They're really fun to pop. They make a nice fun noise. I don't want you guys to pop them because if you pop them it actually is not um, as cool to print with if they don't have the little air inside of them. So this is actually old bubble wrap. You're going to see it already has paint on it because I can reuse these. Um, and I'm going to ask that you rinse yours off when you're finished with the bubble wrap. Uh, that way I can reuse it for another class and then we're not as wasteful. So just put it into the sink, rub off all your paint, and put it onto some type of drying rack. I'll let you know when you get to class. And then this is what we're going to use. This is our paint, but it's actually not paint. It's actually ink. So this is going to be thicker than paint, but it's still washable. So if you get it on your clothes, I wouldn't worry. But ink is very messy. So you, peel, you twist off the top like, um, like toothpaste, and you're going to put some into a tray. Now, you don't want a lot, just a little bit. If you squeeze like half this bottle into the tray, it's not going to work. So just a little. Remember, you can always add more. It's always easy to add rather than try to take away too much. And then you're going to use this rolly thing. It's like a paint roller, but it's actually called a brayer when we use it for printing. And the brayer helps spread the ink in the tray. And you want to roll this ink until you hear a nice crackly sound. It's going to sound, I always think of it like sizzling bacon. Crackle, crackle. That means it's sticky enough to get going. So you'll set your brayer to the side or even just back into the tray and you're going to take your bubble wrap and if your bubble wrap is super small you can actually just dip it right into the ink but mine's so big it's bigger than the tray so I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to roll the ink onto the bubble wrap. And if you run out of ink, squeeze a little more into your tray. Just never too much. So what this is going to be, we're going to make an image of a bee. This is supposed to look kind of like the honeycomb. And you're going to get your sheet of paper, flip this over, I'm going to start on one side, flip it over, rub it down. You don't want to press so hard it makes it pop and then peel it up. And you've made a print. So I want you to fill this whole paper with the print. So you're going to keep repeating this process. Alright, so here is my honeycomb print. It's so cool and you can tell some printed really dark, some printed lighter and that's part of the charm of it. It should be a little uneven. It looks really nice like that. I personally think. Um, then what you're going to do, you are going to draw an image of a bee on some type of surface. Could be cardboard, could be um, paper. I've already drawn mine. Um, a bee is symmetrical, so you want to try to draw it the same on both sides. A lot of times we've used the folding and rubbing method. This is a time where you're asked to try to draw it just yourself, so it's a challenging you a bit more. And what I've done is I've outlined it with a Sharpie. What we are going to do is something called, we're going to make a collagraph. So a collagraph is when we make textures onto a plate. So this cardboard it would be called a plate. Um, and then we're going to use this, it's going to become like a stamp and we're going to print it on top of our bubble wrap print. So I outlined with a sharpie so I could see my lines crystal clear. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue bottle and you're going to put glue all on it. And then you're going to layer that. So we're doing an additive process. 
with yarn. So you're raising the surface, you're adding on, but the challenge here, if you made your bee really tiny, this is going to be very hard. So I have a little too much, so I'll just cut it off. So you want to make sure you fill your plate, whatever it is I give you, with the image. If you have a bee that's this big, you put yarn on it, it's just going to look like a ball of yarn. Um, so you want to try to get it big enough that you can work with the yarn easily enough. So with these eyeballs, I'm just going to cut out real baby pieces of yarn, kind of scrunch them up. You might get a lot of glue on your fingers. If you do, maybe get a wet paper towel by you so you can keep wiping them. And you're just going to keep going with this process. And then we have to let this dry. Okay, so I finished my B, and I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use a black ink. Remember, start with a little. You can always add more. And roll it until you hear that crackle sound. ink onto your B. If some gets on your paper or your cardboard, that's okay. There might be some yarn that wants to come up. It's because you didn't have enough glue. Just be super careful with those. So I already rolled it once, so I'm going to do it again. And then you're going to want to take your plate, flip it over, put it onto your bubble sheet, take them both, flip them over, and start rubbing. And then gently from one corner, peel up. And here is your print. Okay, so from here I have printed uh, my B onto my bubble wrap print. And now I'm going to take oil pastels and you can kind of just embellish this. So kind of just make it a little, um, just a little more interesting with some oil pastel. So I'm going in with some white and then I'm going to add a little blue here on the wings. And I wouldn't say go too crazy with the oil pastel um, because this does look so cool, but you can just add a little bit to it. So what I did for my bee is I added some yellow, I added some pink, and then I put some blue to kind of show a little shadow in there. Um, you don't have to use these colors, these are the colors that I thought might look good. And I just add this into the whole body. So that way it just stands out a little bit more from that background space. Um, but you can still see the bubble wrap through it, which is I think is super neat. And this is all you really need, and you are finished with your B artwork.